Good morning, hello, and Merry Christmas to you on this first Sunday after Christmas, this first Sunday in the Christmas season. Merry Christmas and welcome to today's family lesson. Did you get to unwrap some gifts for Christmas? Did you, did you receive any clothing? I know that I gladly received a few bits of clothing for my Christmas. In many years, there is some sort of clothing always underneath the tree or in my stocking for me to wear or use. Now, sometimes they might not be, you know, the cutest things that you wanted to wear or the nicest things, or maybe they're a little scratchy because it's a fabric you don't like. And yet people still give these gifts, even if they might not be our favorite. But why do we give these gifts? And what do we think about as we put on each of those pieces of clothing? For me, what I've begun to think about is the love and care that went into my family or my friends choosing that item for me. For instance, a couple of years ago, one of my aunts, Elaine, she made me this scarf for Christmas. And every year I love pulling it out in winter and wearing it as I go about because it keeps me warm and reminds me of the love that she has for our family. In the same turn, my Aunt Nancy, a few years back, gave me this coat. It's a nice coat. And it's also something that I look forward to wearing as the days get colder because it wraps me with warmth that continues to let me be outside and care for others. So what does all of this clothing talk have to do with today's lessons? Everything! Today in our second lesson from Colossians, Paul is writing to the church in Colossus and letting those people know to put aside their bad habits, to put aside those things that separate us, and instead to clothe themselves in compassion, to clothe themselves in grace and forgiveness. And above all else, Paul says in chapter 3, verse 14, Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. You see, even if they're not our favorite clothes, the love that was put into them or sewn into them or stitched as they were made or given to you is surrounding you with love every single time you put it on. And is that reminder of the love that God has for you every single day and asks us to take out with us so that we can clothe others in that same love. Because even as we celebrated Jesus being born in the manger just a day ago, Jesus was even wrapped in simple clothing that probably was a little bit scratchy, but was wrapped with love and care, the same love and care that Jesus and God asked us to go out every single day and show to others. Because it is through the showing of love and grace and forgiveness and hope that each of us and each person we encounter can remember that you and I and everyone from this world is called, claimed, and named beloved child of God. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for clothing us in your love, in your grace, in your compassion. Help us to show those things to others so that they may be clothed in that same love. In your name we pray, amen. 
Merry Christmas again to you. Enjoy your Christmas season. And remember, we've got two weeks of Christmas to celebrate.